Hello there. I'm Luke Barber with Strategy Email Marketing, and today I want to show you how to use link triggers in ConvertKit. And I'm also going to show you four different ways that you can use link triggers to automate your email marketing so it runs like a well oiled machine. After I log into ConvertKit, I'm going to click on Automate and then Rules. I'm going to go over here to the right and click on New Rule. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on Clicks a Link. Then I'm going to name my trigger because after you do this a bunch and you set up a bunch of these, you're going to want to name them so that you can find them quickly because you have to pick them from a list. I'm going to call this link interest in my example product. Then I'm going to go up here to my product page and I'm going to highlight this link. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back here and the destination URL is where I'm going to paste that link. So that's my link that when somebody clicks on it, it's going to trigger something else. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the action. And the action that I wanna add is, I'm gonna create a new tag. And my action is, I want the person to be tagged as someone who is interested in the example product. So don't get confused because you have example product and example product. This is the link, and then this is what the action is. And so they're both the same thing, right? Once they click this, I want it to show that they're interested in that product, same product. Okay, then I'm gonna to go to save rule. Then I'm going to go up to send broadcast and I'm going to create a new broadcast and I'm going to put the subject line as product sale. Then we'll go down to the body. And we'll type in, hey, I'm having a sale on my flashcard set. Obviously you're gonna put more than this. You're gonna personalize it and have a greeting and all those kind of things. But just for our purposes, I'm showing you how to do this. So we're gonna say, hey, I'm having a sale on my flashcard set. Next, I'm going to highlight the text that I want to make the link. And I'm gonna click this button right here that says insert link. Then I'm gonna click here on link triggers. And here's my link trigger that I created just a second ago in automations. I'm gonna click on that. Now you see it has the little lightning bolt. I'm gonna say it's gonna already have this put in there because I chose to have this link tag people as interested in my example product. Now, typically I'll do this. I think any link that's clicked on in an email is gonna open in a new window anyway, but I always just click that just in case. Then I'm gonna go down to insert. And I don't know about you, but I like to bold my links. So I just did a command B or control B if you're on a PC. And then that makes your link stand out just a little bit more. And so now I go to continue and continue again. I'm not actually gonna send this to all my subscribers, but this just to show you what this would look like. So it says send now. There's one more step that says continue. You can see here, this, this is gonna show you a little preview of what your email is gonna look like. And you can see right here, it says a sale on my flashcard set, and this is a link. And then down here in the bottom left corner, if you'll notice when I hover over that, see how it says products all in one flashcards, which is this page. Now what's gonna happen is, is in the background, anybody who clicks that link, they're going to get tagged. So I'm gonna take us, I'm gonna go over here to grow and go to subscribers and open that in a new page up here. When I send that email out, anybody who clicks on that link is going to be tagged as somebody who's interested in the example product. That way, when I follow up with those people, I can just send more emails to the people who clicked the link who showed interest, and I'm not bugging everybody else who didn't. And that's it. Now you have a link trigger set up. That's pretty simple, right? Now I wanna tell you about four different ways that you can use link triggers to automate some processes and help you grow. The first way to use link triggers is to help yourself better understand who your audience is. So in this example, I set up an email that when people come to my welcome series, I ask them, who are you? Are you a parent or a speech therapist for my one online business that I'm doing? And the reason I do that is because the products and the content that I'm going to send to them is going to be completely different for a therapist than it is for a parent. Now there will be some overlap. Some parents are interested in what the therapists are getting and vice versa, but I also have offers and different types of content that's more specific to parents or more specific to therapists. So by setting up a link trigger, I can make two different tags. One is speech therapist and the other is for parents. By setting up those two tags, and before I send the content, I just click the tag and say, send to the speech therapist or send to the parents. Then that way I know who's getting my content based on what they clicked on. 
The second way to use link triggers is to tag a subscriber who's interested in a specific product. And we kind of already went over that in the beginning where I showed you how I linked a product so that I could go back and in my broadcast email, I linked some words that said, hey, I'm having a sale. And then if those people clicked onto that link, then they get tagged as somebody interested in that product. That's probably the most helpful link trigger that I use all the time to divide my subscribers into the different buckets of interest that they have. The third way to use link triggers is to offer your subscribers a way to tell you how much they enjoyed or didn't enjoy the email you just sent. So in this example, you scroll to the bottom of the email, it has these three different things that say, what did you think about this email? Was it killer? Was it meh? Or can I do better? What I would do is set up three different link triggers with three different pages and three different tags. And what it would look like would be three pages on my website. The first one, the URL would be killer content. The second one would be meh content. And the third one would be do better content. And each of those pages would say the exact same thing. They would say, thank you for your feedback. That's it. That's all the page would have to say. And then I could use those links for each one and create three different link triggers. And then when somebody clicked on one of the three link triggers, I would name the tag content dash killer, content dash meh or content dash do better. And then that way I could start keeping track that if I started getting a bunch of people who were clicking on the do better link, then I would know that people weren't liking the content that I was sending. This email actually uses another service called Sparkloop that I've looked into and it's about a hundred dollars a month, I believe starting. And to me, I'm not quite where this sender is with her email marketing to be able to pay for something like that. Even though I do appreciate the feedback that I get, I would set up a much simpler way that I wouldn't have to pay a hundred dollars a month for. And finally, the fourth way to use link triggers is to tag subscribers who want to continue getting emails from you or cold subscribers who don't wanna get emails anymore. So in this example, I have an email set up where I send this to people who haven't interacted with my emails for 90 days or more. And I say, do you still want to get emails from me? Click here if you do, click here if you don't. Now, even though I have at the bottom of every one of my emails, an unsubscribe link, when people don't engage, then they may not be getting my emails, they may be going to spam or junk or somewhere else. And so in this way, I can send them this automated sequence where they get the same email three times asking them, do you want to keep getting content from me or do you not? There's two different links and whichever link they click on, if they click on yes, please keep sending me more, then when they click on that, it takes them to a page on my site that says, thanks, we'll keep sending you more content. If they don't want to keep getting emails from me, then they would click on the stop sending me emails. And then when they click on that link, it takes them to a page that says, you bet we'll stop sending you emails. And then I have an automation that will tag them as a dead subscriber. And then every 30 days or 60 days, I'll go through and I just delete those people. As painful as that may be to do, I still go in and delete them because they specifically told me through their action of, I don't want to receive emails from you anymore, that they don't want to get emails from me. So I go in and I delete them. And that's what you have to do to keep your list healthy and clean. And when you do that, you're gonna benefit from what's called compound deliverability. And I learned this from Ann P. Mitchell from gettotheinbox.com. In an article on her website, she talked about how as you keep your list clean and as you delete subscribers who aren't opening and engaging with your emails, what will happen is, is if say you have 10,000 subscribers and you delete 3,000 of them because they're not engaging or opening your emails, then now all of a sudden, when you send out to the 7,000, you're gonna have much more higher open rates and interaction and click-throughs. And every time that happens, you're gonna get a higher percentage of people who are opening. So then the next time you send, your deliverability is gonna be better because as you get more people to interact with your emails, the higher your reputation is going to improve with email service provider, and then your deliverability is going to improve as well. I hope that makes sense. So that's it for today. I hope that this helps you get your link trigger set up and gives you some ways and ideas of how to use them that will save you tons of time as you continue improving on your email marketing. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment and let me know how this will help you or other ways that you use link triggers. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want more content like this. And I'll see you next time.